Alrighty, I am back. We are back. We're playing leadership. I need to give Sandman some hit points or else this game is going to be real easy. But yeah, so leadership. Okay, so let's talk about what we're running here. So, um, we're running... Let's just get our econ cards out of the way. Those are, those are always boring. Yep, but we're running uh, another heavy basic ally deck. We're running some spiders and actually to yeah no we're fine okay so yeah we're we're running some of our new here our allies so we got ghost spider so oh, we can only play this if we control a web warrior card and so that can be miles on on spider-man's side and then whenever ghost spider leaves play search your deck for an identity specific event and add it to your hand which is excellent for miles awesome we got Oh wait, shoot! I can't play Miles. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so we'll 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 figure out a card. We cannot play that. We got Peter Parker. Um, so requirement of spending one of each resources while paying for this card, and then after Spider-Man attacks or thwarts, choose another Web Warrior character, and you get to ready that character. So again, really great. We got Nick. We got Mockingbird, Helicarrier, and then we got Venom. Venom is just a crazy card. So he's a four cost. Basic ally, two thwart, three attack, with a symbiote trait. And it says, after you reveal an encounter card, deal one damage to Venom. Deal damage to an enemy equal to the number of icons in that card's boost area. And we're revealing one extra card each round. So, he can be dealing a lot of damage. And that's, that's not a force response. You don't have to exhaust Venom. So just every single time you reveal an encounter card, you can... You can do that so um so then we've got ant-man <laughs> ant-man's our only non basic ally we'll probably grab another basic ally i think that's probably going to be what what our card is to to go in there for spider-man um we've got command teams mainly for spider-man so if we can heal spider-man or we, if we can ready spider-man then we get to um, then, then we get to ready Miles, and we can just kind of combo that. We've got reinforced suits to keep him alive, if and team training to keep him alive. Then if he dies, we got rapid responses to keep him in because we don't have to play that, pay that high cost. And then we've got make the call. Uh, so if we if we want to, probably the easiest way to get Spider Man onto the table is to make the call Spider Man. So you. Make the call says you pay the printed cost of the ally and then you put it into play. So you ignore the requirement keywords. That's how I that's how I read it. I think I don't see how I could read it any other way. But get Spider-Man back. And then we got Moxie because we're gonna be flipping a lot, so after you change your hero form, plus one to all the stats until the end of the round. Adding young love, because Spider Gwen is here, but that's just there for theme. I'll do it. I love it. Let's do it. Boom. There's our 25th card, Young Glove. Okay, so we'll see how it works out. I love, I really like the Peter Parker basic Spider-Man. I think he is really, really cool. Okay, so we're running the same modulars, the same everything. I mean, save it for Valentine's Day challenge or something. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, I like that. That's fun. February challenge, yeah. Uh, so we're running the same modulars. Usually in this series, I switch up the modulars in between sets, but just because it's a new villain and everything, I am not doing that. So same modulars as we as we were running before, and we'll be here to take on our revenge on Sam. Well, I guess like he beat us, so we need to beat him three times to actually fulfill the revenge. Two, four, six to start out. We got Ganky. like seeing that already. Power within and defense mechanism, okay. Team training, make the call on an acrobatics. Okay, um, I'm going to keep Ganky because I want to use him this turn. We will toss, make the call, don't need that. Toss, arachnobatics. Um, toss, camouflage, or defense mechanism. 
hold on to team training. I think I want to hold on to power with him because I would like to stun him this turn. So let's see what we got. We got Nick, reinforced suit, and ooh, the power in all of us. Okay. Okay. Well, let's see what we got. So we will. Let's go ahead and toss or pay power in all of us, reinforce suit, and power within to put Nick onto the table. Oops, these are in the disc. After Nick enters play, remove two threat, draw three cards. We're going to draw three cards. Got a rapid response, ghost spider, and innovation. Okay. We'll flip up to hero form. And, oh wait, hold on, before we do that, I'm sorry. I wanna put Genki into play. So we're gonna toss a, we're gonna to toss Ghost Spider and Rapid Response to put Genki into play. Cause I, I, I want team training out there. We'll exhaust Genki to draw a card, which is Moxie. Um, yeah, no. Yep, okay, so now we'll flip up to hero form. Nick will thwart two off the main, which will deal a damage. I'm gonna toss a moxie and innovation to play a team training, which will heal one from Nick. And that's important because Sam is dealing indirect damage, and so we want to give as much, uh, health to him as possible. Honestly, I didn't know that Steve Rogers is a construction foreman, but I didn't read the comments. <laughs> I don't get it. I'm sorry. What am I missing? Oh, <laughs> the power in all of us? Yeah. <laughs> it does look... <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's great. Uh, we'll exhaust Spider-Man to go ahead and remove two counters here. And that will be my turn. So Mockingbird, Web Shot, Young Love, Command Team, and Energy. Okay. So we'll start out, we'll place one here, and then Sandman's going to attack. Um, and for two plus two is four. So we'll deal four damage to Nick because of team training, so it does not damage Spider-Man. Nice. And our bad card is Dirt Trap. When defeated, resolve the Surging Sand ability on City Streets. Resolve it again. Oh, geez. So you resolve it twice. And that comes in with one. Alrighty. Okay, so... We'll go ahead and exhaust Spider-Man to remove two from here. We will toss an energy to play a web shot. So deal four damage to an enemy, which is Sandman. And then if I paid for it using a energy resource, which I did, resolve Venom Blast, which is deal two damage and stun that enemy. We will we'll exhaust Genki to draw a card and discard a card. We'll discard Young Glove. Um, we'll toss a command team and a Mockingbird to put an Ant-Man with two counters on. And go ahead and thwart off the dirt trap. So we add one mill, add one mill two. Cool. Ant Man may have counters, but he literally has no life. <laughs> yeah. Um,.
Okay, so yeah, that's my turn. We'll ready. We'll draw up to five. We've got a Helicarrier, a Moxie, Web Shot. Okay, I like Web Shot. Rapid Response, and a Reinforced Suit. Okay, cool. So we can activate Web Shot, which is nice. Okay, so starting out, we'll place one here. Sandman will attack, but he is stunned. And then our bad card is Threat Menace. You may change form. If you're in hero form, place two threat on the main scheme. If you're in alter ego form, you cannot change form until your next turn. So we'll go ahead and place two on the main. You know what? No, yeah, we're doing that, yep. Okay, we'll exhaust Genki to draw a card and discard a card. Which will be Moxie. We'll exhaust Spider-Man to remove the city streets. We will... Don't have enough to put Helicarrier out, unfortunately. So what we will do... Okay, I can't put Reinforced Suit onto Ant-Man, so... Okay, we'll toss a Rapid Response and a Command Team to play a Web Shot. So that deals 6 damage and stuns Sandman. Threat of Menace. Evil or... Malevent. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I I do like the the these types of cards. Like the down to earth modular set I, I think is a really cool modular set. Okay, so he's down to four. We'll toss a Helicarrier to put a reinforced suit onto Ant Man. So Ant Man is now up to two, four, five health. So we'll go ahead and hit Sam in for two. No, we'll we'll throw it off the main. So we'll ready. Draw Jefferson Davis, a genius, a swing in, a moxie, and a make the call. We don't have Peter yet, do we? But we do have Ghost Spider. I like the cards from this box that scale with expert. Yeah, those are really, really, really cool. I, I like that design space a lot. I'm excited to break into those. I think when I do my campaign, it'll be through an expert campaign. So we'll definitely get to see some. So, so yeah. Okay, so starting out, we're going to place one here. Sandman's going to attack, but he is stunned. Then we get a bad card, which is Shadows of the Past. Okay. Okay, so we get Prowler. So Prowler comes in with Stalwart, meaning he cannot be stunned or confused. And if you're in Alter Ego form, give Prowler a tough status card. I am not. Thank goodness. Then we've got Tracking Prey. When revealed, if you're in Alter Ego form, place one Acceleration token here. We are not. So just one Acceleration, and that comes in with four. And then we've got some Treacheries and some Attachments that we're going to be shuffling in. Hopefully it's not too bad. I'm sure it will be. Cool. Okay. Okay, so... We will exhaust Genki to draw a card. Oh, perfect, okay. And we will toss Jefferson Davis. No, oh, I don't have... <laughs> uh, we're not going to toss Jefferson Davis because I need the physical resource. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We will toss... Do that, that. We'll toss make the call. Cool. This will be fun. Okay. So now we are going to toss a genius to play a swing in. So remove four threat from a scheme. 
If you paid for this card using a mental resource, which we did, resolve Spider-Man's camouflage ability. So we'll remove from tracking prey. Which removes this. And then the spider camouflage is give Spider-Man a tough status card and confuse an enemy. So we will confuse Sandman and give Spider-Man a tough status card. Okay. Now we are going to attack for two on the Prowler. That's two. Then turning your love interest into energy is already underhanded. Once you dump your dad for the same, you might as well join Sam's team. No, that's fair. I, I, I agree. I have not been necessarily performing the most admirable actions this game. We're going to flip down to Alter Ego Form, which allows us to shuffle a card into our deck. I think it's going to be a whip shot, but just make sure. Yep, gonna be a web shot. Now we are going to We're gonna pay for double life with Jefferson Davis so we can flip up to hero form. Ready ourselves because we paid for it with a physical resource. And then we're gonna play Moxie as a response so we get plus one to all of our stats so i have three attacks so i will swing and hit prowler for three which will take prowler out okay ant-man will villains at four ant-man will hit the villain for two and he has three five life so he's still got two health left sweet Okay, that'll be my turn. We're ready up. We got another double life. I like seeing that. Swing in. Sweet. Web shooter. And acrobatics. And another web shooter. Cool. Okay. Starting out, we're going to place four here on. Or, <laughs> move this up to four. Hey, Sandman, just offered my dad. My uncle was already better anyway. <laughs> Oh, geez. Um, Sam is going to attack. I'm just going to take it. Uh, he does... Mm. Grumble. He does indirect damage. Forgot about the indirect damage thing. We will... We'll defend. So it's going to be 2 plus boost reveal this card, which is attached to Sandman. When you would deal any amount of damage to Sandman, discard Sand Farm instead. Resolve searching sand on the city streets. So, okay, so 2, don't take any damage so we get to keep our tough card, which is nice. Okay. Now, we get a bad card, which is Dirt Trap. We resolve a lot of the city's surging sands, so gross. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. We will I'm gonna toss a double life to play a web shooter. We will exhaust web shooter. Oh, he's already confused. Um, we will swing at him to deal two damage, which will uh, resolve this. Place one, mill one. We'll exhaust Genki to draw a card, which is web shot. Okay, here we go. 
Now we're talking. Okay. Oh, shoot. He has only two health. He only has two health. Oh, web shot will. Okay, sweet. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Nice. Okay, so web shooter and swing in. We'll toss. Oh, I already exhausted web shooter. What did I exhaust web shooter for? That should not be exhausted, I don't think. Yeah, I didn't pay for I didn't play anything. Um, okay, so we're going to toss that to play a web shot. So deal four damage to an enemy. If you pay for this card using a energy resource, resolve the Venom Blast ability. So I would say that just to be safe, I I don't know if I deal four damage moving on to the second and then deal two damage. I... Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna just be safe and not deal the two extra damage. We'll just give him a stunned card and move him on to second round or the second phase. So when revealed, add one mill two. Then he's a one three now. He's stunned and confused, which is nice. Okay. Come to think of it, can characters have more than one tough, stu confused, stunned card? Um, they can if they are steady. So steady is a keyword that requires you to have two of the same card. Um, I don't actually, I don't actually know what the ruling is on like non-steady. So I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so now we are going to exhaust web shooter, remove a counter to play uh, an acrobatics. So Sandman has 18. So move that up to. Eighteen. Non steady characters can only have one status card of each time. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you. So we'll play an acrobatic, so deal two damage to an enemy if that enemy has a stun status card, deal three additional if that enemy has a confused status card, deal three additional. So that's gonna be three, six, eight. So down to ten. Sweet. Okay. We will ready. And draw. One, two, three, four. We get a bad card. Okay, we got ten health. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see how it goes. Oh, we got venom. Oh my goodness, it may happen. Actually, we're probably just gonna throw Peter Parker out there. Venom would be a lot of fun, though. Venom would be a lot of fun. I don't know. We'll have to do math. We'll we'll see what happens. So we'll add one to the main. Sandman will attack, but he is stunned, and we'll resolve the two bad cards. That's why stunlock decks aren't that good in multiplayer. Gotcha. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Now or never. So when revealed, place one acceleration token on the main seam or exhaust a character you control and spend one resource of any type. Uh, we will go ahead and exhaust Ant-Man and we'll web shooter a resource. Okay. And then title sands. When reveal, place X additional threat here where X is equal to the number of sand counters on city street. So that's going to be four total threat. Hey, just be claw with precon Hawkeye. His precon is neat. Nice. Good. Good job. Yeah, that's awesome. So, did like uh like it's pretty neat. So you enjoyed it. I hope. I. I remember, I don't think I ever played his pre-con, but, like, it took me a couple of games to, like, figure Hawkeye out. And once I did, I, he is really, really cool. Okay. Alrighty, so. He's got 10 damage. Hawkeye is your one of your favorite pre-cons. Nice, cool, good.
two, four, six, eight. Let's go ahead and Ganky. We got a Moxie. And we have to discard a card. We'll discard Moxie. Oh yeah, it was fun. Exhausting allies to ready yourself, then exhaust yourself to ready a bow, and then plink an arrow. Yeah, that's awesome. Having two expert marksmen is super fun. Yeah, yeah. Just being able to pay for everything. It's yeah, that's a that's a ton of fun. You know what? I may I may just throw Venom out there. Seems kind of fun. I don't know. Seems kind of fun. <laughs> I don't know. Let's just do it. I I played Peter Parker on Friday. Let's 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 throw Venom out there. So we're gonna throw Venom out. So he comes in. He has seven health starting with team training. We're revealing an additional encounter card. We're revealing a lot of encounter cards. However, I think. I think I can kill him before we reveal all the encounter cards. So, so that's good. Okay, so we'll swing for five. Dealing a damage. And we will flip down to Alter Ego. Venom, we release Venom on the world. He's gonna do his thing. Miles is gonna go back to school. We're <laughs> We don't we don't need to do anything there. We're, we can shuffle. We'll shuffle web slot back in to the deck. Alrighty, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> We're ready. Everything. We'll draw. I'm gonna keep Spider Man. Why not? Got Mockingbird. We got Young Love. We got Innovation. So we can pay for Peter next turn. I don't think there will be a next turn, but here we go. So starting out, we're going to place one threat here, taking us up to six out of nine, which is slightly scary. Place... Sandman's going to scheme, but he's confused. Then we're going to do three cards. One, two, three. The first card is a Surge. Um, okay. Second is... When revealed, Prowler attacks the player with the fewest hit points remaining. If that attack defeats a character... Um, or no attack was made this way. This card gains Surge. So we're going to Surge, but I'm going to deal a damage and deal a damage to Sandman using this response. We've got Sand Clone. So X, he's coming in with a lot of a lot of hit points. Ooh, we got Rhino. And that's game, right? Because, oh, nope, nope. He has, so, okay. So when Rhino comes into play, we'll deal a damage to Venom. And deal three to Sandman. And then Sandstorm. When revealed, deal X indirect damage among players divided as you choose, where X is equal to number of sand counters. So we will take two damage. And then we'll also deal a damage to Venom to deal two more damage to the the, uh, the villain. Well, Venom's fun. I mean, it's, it's definitely a high risk, high reward. And it says, after you reveal a card, deal one damage to villain. Deal... Damage e to an enemy equal to the number of icons in that boost area. So there's no limit on how many times you can do that. And so I just run a ton of cards. And I think Star-Lord loves Venom now. Like, I think that's going to be a fun thing to mess around with. But, yeah, just doing that, I mean, that's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. But there you go. That's the leadership. I don't trust you, Quinn Stacy, but Venom, he's a first-class citizen. He really is. He really is. I mean, he just won for us. Eddie Brock just beat up Sandman for us. But I like that ally. It's interesting. It's definitely interesting. Um, I think I may make a swap in the protection deck. We'll, we'll talk about it. I'm going to set back up for our final game of today. We will, I'm going to go to the be right back screen. I'll be right back here in just, uh, just a couple seconds.